Uh, what's good YouTube? I am back. Now in today's video this is going to be a little bit something different. Uh, this is my backup Diamond Dynasty account. Uh, I do not play on this account. I just don't. This is my backup account in case something was to happen to my main account. I have this what at least started with an all gold team. So today this is pretty much going to be a how to video. I'm not going to be really doing anything in this video. I'm going to be explaining everything in this video pretty much in depth. So the first thing we are going to start out with is what is the fastest way to earn a program stars? This is a very, very common question in the MLB community. So I'm going to answer it like this. You get three program stars, or sorry, no, you get one program star for every three innings of online play that you play. So for a nine inning game, you get three program stars plus one program star for winning. So in a nine inning game, you could get possibly four program stars. Do I think that's the fastest way? No, I don't. In my opinion, the fastest way to earn program stars is the daily missions. Now, these daily missions, if you complete all four of these daily missions every day, like these ones, two, four, six, you can get nine program stars for completing these all right so that is the that is what they call the fastest way so after you do the daily missions the next fastest in my opinion is going to be just simply moments 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 actually do get your program stars they don't they want to get you them super fast but it is literally the next fastest way I believe two moments get you a program star maybe maybe more than one program star it kind of depends but again all in all daily missions are the fastest then I would say moments are the second fastest way and then honestly if you're just going to play ranked seasons again you'll get three program stars for a full uh, game battle royale just don't worry about it and showdown no. Alright, the next thing we are going to talk about is the fastest way to get stubs. Now, this is the big thing here. Stubs is the main thing that MLB The Show runs off of. Stubs. Stubs. That is the currency of MLB. Right? In my opinion this year, there is two ways to earn stubs very quickly. Two, well, there's technically three ways. The first way, of course, is going to be the ways you've always heard it. The first one, of course, flipping the market. By now, this is like, God knows, sixth, seventh, eighth year of MLB The Show. You better know how to flip the market. If you don't, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of videos on YouTube explaining how to flip the market starting all the way at commons literally if you are like me and only have 437 stubs you can literally start to flip the market with common cards if you can find one that has a pretty good spread actually kinda like this William Contreras card here you would want to buy these cards so you would put a couple buy orders in for these William Contreras. So you'd put three of them in for 11 stubs. And then you would sell those three cards for 38 stubs. So then you subtract 38 minus 11. You make 27 stubs three times. And that's will get you almost about 100. So again, you would be spending... You would be spending 33 stubs. You would be making almost 100 stubs literally off this common card. 
So you can just start it with the commons till you make a bunch of stubs. And then you can move your way up to bronzes. Because bronzes is kind of where you want to start, to be honest. Like, this is a good one here. This is a really good one. Sonry Foldy. You can buy three of them for 131. So it will cost you a little bit over 300 stubs. But then if you sell them back for 223, you will be making almost 700 stubs that will be almost a 400 stub profit off those cards you could buy multiple you could buy more than three four five six seven if it's a big profit that one for a bronze is a pretty big profit i would want to buy into that one uh there's really not many more this one would be another one you could buy a couple of these guys for like 104 so you could buy say you buy five of them right say you buy five of them at 104 stubs you would be spending around you know 520 stubs then you sell each of these at 220 you would be making over a thousand stubs so again you as you would spend about 500 you'd be making over a thousand that is a 500 stub increase and then again you have to remember about the tax with all these cards there is tax it's a 10 percent tax so all in all you'd be making only about 375 to maybe even 400 stubs that's about it uh, and then again you keep going and you keep moving in of course to silvers and then golds once you get enough stubs and yes if you're good enough at it you could even start flipping diamonds i know people that work the market so well that they flip diamonds all right the next way after flipping the market that everyone tells you of how you can earn stubs fast is by doing collections now you see I literally don't do collections on this account I just don't do collections on this account I just don't do it because I don't play this account of course the way you get stubs the live series collections and of course you want to start with a really easy team so Baltimore is a really easy team you see here if you get the whole Baltimore Orioles collection you will actually get over you will actually get over 2,000 stubs you will actually get about 2.5 K stubs for doing the Orioles collection that's the same with every collection so say the easy collections are the Orioles Tigers Royals uh, twins are easy, Marlins, Pirates, Giants, and the free agents. You even get stubs for doing the free agents. You actually get a lot of stubs for doing the free agents. A lot of stubs. Free agents, I would honestly say do that first. You can actually end up getting 6,700 stubs for doing all the free agents. Because yeah, so if you do the easy collections, there's about 8 or 9 uh, easy collections that you don't even have to buy a diamond for. And then there's even a couple more where you just have to buy golds for, like the reds or the um, twins. You just have to buy golds for. You can make, again, like I said, 2.5k stubs on each collection. And you can make upwards of 10k stubs again if you don't sell anything. Those are the two ways that they tell you about. Well, here, let's talk about the first one I see about making stubs fast. And that is going to be events. Events, in my opinion, is the best way of making stubs. Now, you get a lot of stubs for playing an event game. Literally, from playing an event game, you could get 200, 300 stubs. But then look at these rewards. And again, it does depend how lucky you are on pack luck during this. It also gets you a lot of XP, so I'll just jump into the next one. So again, 5 wins, you get a pack. 10 wins, you get a silver pack and 1,000 XP. 15 wins, 3 packs, 500 stubs. 20 wins, 1,000 stubs. Gold player, you could sell that for stubs. 25 wins, 5k XP. Again, this is a really good XP maker too. 30 wins, a 5-pack box with 500 stubs on top. 35 wins, another 500 stubs. This 40-win card, Felix Hernandez, it's actually selling right now for about 8.5K. It's a pretty good one. Ball in his habit, guaranteed silver or better card. 50 wins, 5 packs. Classic Stadium, you can sell. This Brooks Robinson card right now is all selling for about 10K. 80 wins, you get a 10-pack. 90 wins, you get a set one prospect's choice again, and then you can just go crazy. This is also very, very crazy for XP, which is what we'll talk about after we talk about this last way to make stubs. 
So in my opinion, the last way to make stubs is showdown. More, more, you know, specifically the inning programs or the second inning showdowns. Now, for completing these moments, you know, 75, 75, 75, 250, 150, 150, 150, 300, 250, 250, 250, 250 1,000. Just for like doing this, you get around 3,000 stubs and it costs 5,000 to enter. So you will technically profit, you know, 25, maybe it's 24, I'm not sure, 2,400 stubs if you flawlessly run this. And XP, you can earn about 8,000 XP from this as well. And that doesn't even count the XP you get for playing the game and the stubs you get for doing the moment. So you can technically get about, in my opinion, about 3,000 stubs out of this and maybe even 10,000 XP if you're lucky. Alright, so now that we're done with stubs, the final thing I want to talk about is how to get XP. Now, XP is a big thing because of the XP reward path, and we figured out once you hit level 100 diamond this year, there actually is a prestige XP reward path. So people want to get there and get those prestige cards because, boy, those things look good. So again, like I said before, for XP, very easy ways to get XP, as I just mentioned before, showdown and events. A very easy way to get XP. You can get, you know, a solid, you know, thousands, thousands of XP while you do it. The next best way to get XP, in my opinion, other than collections, collections also get you that, is going to be actually, believe it or not, moments. And I'll show you why. Moments here. See, like you just here, the Evolution Jackie Robinson, if you do it, you can get 8,150 XP for completing these moments. They're pretty simple. And that's not even counting the XP that you get in the games, man. It's very, very good. Monthly rewards, same thing as Zimmerman. 5,100 XP. Second inning program for LK line, 6,400 XP. And then even for completing that second inning program, if you look, completing that second inning program, you get 6,400 for doing it, plus another 1,500 for actually completing the whole thing. I mean, X moments are a very, very, very sneakily good way to get XP that no one's talking about. So again, for XP, showdown, events, moments. Yes, playing online in normal games like ranked seasons, you get about 100, 200, or if you have a good inning, 6, 7, 800 XP per inning online, and that could be incredible if you have a lot of good innings. But to me, it's just not worth it. So, for a quick recap before I go ahead and end this video, uh, the fastest way to earn program stars, again, in my opinion, is the daily missions, as well as just some moments. But again, like I said, moments really don't do it. It's all about the daily missions for program stars. For stubs, like I said, alright, and now if we look at XP, like I said before, showdown, events, and moments for XP that's the best way unless you can go and score like three four runs an inning online get about 700 XP per inning you could rack up XP in the games but again events moments and showdown and finally the best way to get stubs of course like I said before showdowns a very good way events is a very good way and like I said before collections if you do collections you can make 10k stubs off about what five six seven collections if you complete them and then of course the final way for stubs flipping the market which all of you should know how to do but if you don't i will do a video on flipping the market for you guys coming up just let me know uh, Alright guys, so that is the how-to MLB video in explaining form. If you guys want me to actually show you guys how to do it in a different video, I will be more than happy to do that for you guys. Uh, so again, if you liked it, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you are new and if this helped you out at all. Uh, let me know down below if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, until next time YouTube, I'm out.
Peace.